guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 16 of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I mean, well, damn, like, that's a good way to start off the episode, because honestly, like, I have missed this bitch, but girl, I'm just saying, like, mm. I mean, because the last time we talked to Solar slash her, her was, she was on a phone call with you, so, so, thank you. <laughs> You know what I was kind of thinking? What if the cult that um, Mary's brother Richter is a part of? Mm, well, technically, we kind of got that answer last week with the fact is that there's another copy of him. Well, no, the one that was you know, taken over his body. But okay, so uh, forget what I just said. What if they got multiple copies of this dude, like a clone or some ish? Or maybe, I don't know. I'm not saying that could happen, but hey, you never freaking know. I mean, honestly. But hopefully this goes on to focus on Tentano because, I mean, Tentano, I missed my son. Like, he, he wasn't in last week, barely. So hopefully he gets a focus this week. I honestly forgot about you. I also don't give a shit about you. Yeah, but you probably have multiple copies of you never know. Excuse me. Oh, come on. Don't put Mary in front of this. You know he's not going to hurt you because she's in the way. God, you really are an asshole, aren't you? Also a fuckboy, too. Of course.
mean, he can still headbutt you, though. I'm just saying, yeah, he can really hang that fucking arm. He could still probably kick your ass, I'm just saying. I'm expecting this. But what if you might die? I mean, think about this. Yeah, and you might not even come back from this. How the fuck did you get Mary out so quick, though? I know, that was really reckless, though. What if Mary got killed? What if you got killed? What if Victor got killed? I mean... Exactly! There's a hard head. Want, you know you want to talk to him. Bitches. Mm -hmm. Are you 
same circle. But you still could have taken her with you. At least something. I mean, she's gone for like how long? Thinking that you were dead? I mean, come on now. She idolized you. She wanted to do what you were doing. And. There's going to be more like him. Victor wouldn't do these things. And that's probably the only time that's over she's gonna be shown <laughs> in this episode because for like technically we almost have we done with it. Oh, that was a good closure for her. I guess you're after this too. Oh, not him. Yeah, that fuck face, motherfucker. So he's suspended or fired. <laughs> or is he arrested as well? Or is it all three? Mm -hmm. So you gotta get out of here. And plus, if there's anything you want to say, Lefty will lead Mary to you. So go be safe. I 
de la muerte. Well, it's too late. She already is one. And then watch me never see him again until like maybe the last four, two, three episodes of this show. Because it feels like it's good. Because I mean, this is now wrapping up the Victor situation. But he could be coming back. Poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> you think about me. Exactly. <laughs> I am too honestly. Poor baby. He just shy right now. But wait. <laughs> And you saw, oh, where, what about Tristan and the Chris? Are you going to go get them? I mean, because how long they've been present in life? So, like a week, two weeks, something. But he's doing it for the greater good, unlike you. It just doesn't seem someone like him would support this group. But it just, it just realized how much we really don't know that much about this group. Mm
but so okay another damn if you do the original situation of course no matter what Tetsuro is gonna have to do this but what if the true form that the, the, the shit that he was doing in this episode that's his true form i mean i don't know or there's like another form to that which is his truer form that's seven of course so we're going to be seeing this fight in the anime i just don't know when but i mean I just, I don't know. I don't know what to believe about Tetsuro. I feel like Tetsuro is just this type of kid who is just an adorable cinnamon roll. I would have never assumed or, like, thought in the first half of this show leading up to this episode today that he would have done something so bad and be a part of this cult. And that's why I really, for God's sake, I need a fucking episode that goes into the backstory of him. Even though he doesn't have his memories, like, there's got to be something that this professor is going to give him some memories or, um, not memories. Like, he's going to do some testing on him to make him mem re uh, remember his memories. Or he's going to have, like, a recording that he's going to have Tetsu to watch. And then Tetsu is just going to be sitting there like, I don't believe that. This isn't me. And then I I'm just going to be sitting here like, what the fuck? But then he's gonna, like, no, that is you. I don't know. My heart right now, I can't. <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised if the girl with the girl who always had a lollipop in her mouth and the other um extend make an appearance again next week because we haven't seen them since the end of the first half of this show. So it would make uh, make the most sense. I mean, Olivier finally made an, a second official appearance in this episode. Thank God, because, I mean, like I said, that's the best girl, and I've been missing her so much. Um, I'm glad that, you know, Mary was able to talk to her brother and get, like, a little bit of her final words out to him and what she really needed to say. But because of the fact is they didn't really have enough time for her to almost say everything that she maybe really needed to say. Of course, she was like, yeah, you need to go because... If you get captured, they're going to track you and they're going to find you and, you know, you're going to get taken in no matter what. So I do feel like he is going to be coming back some way, somehow. It has to be put possibly within the last four episodes of this series because, I mean, I don't know how far the manga is and I haven't really truly really read the manga. I think I'm going to wait until after I'm done with this show to read the manga to see where it's going to go next because even though a lot of people are saying, oh... This is season two. This ain't season two. This is still season one. Um, but if this show got a season two, depending on like how many people watched it and how much merchandise was sold in Japan for it and it's like that and how many people really love and support this series, then yeah, maybe. I, I probably wouldn't go ahead and read the manga either. But at the end of the day, I mean, we just got to wait and see because this is only episode 16. Um, but I got no fucking clue what Tessa is going to do. Uh, Juzo has to kind of get him across next week, hopefully. But I just hope whatever Tetsuro does with his decision, it is the right decision because no matter what, it's going to be pros and cons and whatever he chooses. I don't want anybody close to Juzo, Tetsuro, Chris, Mary. I don't want these four, any one of these four to get hurt, possibly even killed. But I feel like Tetsuro is going to want to basically work with the professor in order to get the true form of Juzo because he doesn't want anyone to get hurt. He he doesn't want to have someone's blood on their on his hands. So honestly, that's all I can really think of. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 16 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 17. Bye, guys!